My name is Gavin Evans and this is my monthly video of me talking about all the movies I got. So let's begin with the big purchase. And it might actually shock people, but I've never actually seen a single episode of The Walking Dead. I do love zombies and I've heard great things about the first six seasons. So I'm planning to watch and review this entire show. It might be a couple years, but I will get there. So yeah, hopefully I love it. I'm, I'm going into it with an open mind. Uh, then the next one I'll talk about is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. It feels like everybody was in love with this movie, calling it one of the best movies ever made. But then Barbenheimer happened and it seemed like everybody just stopped talking about this movie like that. And I don't know, I still love this movie. I still think it is one of the best movies ever made. It is visually stunning. It is highly rewatchable. I saw it four times in theaters and I almost never do that. I think it's funny. I think it's got great character work. It's got emotion. And the musical score in this movie is so amazing. I love it. And self-love should have been the song of this summer. It was all about I'm Just Ken in that Billie Eilish song, but Self Love is like 10 out of 10. I love that song. And also, just want to say that everyone keeps complaining about these small changes, and I've seen the clips and all of that. Um, this version I own is the same version I saw in theaters every time, so maybe I'm just on an island with that, but whatever. I love this movie. I think it is perfection. It is amazing, a masterpiece. It is just one of the best animated movies ever made, one of the best sequels ever made, and one of the best superhero movies made, and it's one of the best movies ever made. I love it. So, on to the next movie. Okay, look, Morgan. This movie is directed by Ridley Scott's son, I believe. What's his name? Luke Scott, I think? L Luke Scott, yes. Um, this movie is nothing new. You've seen movies like this in the past, but I think Morgan is actually a pretty decent movie um, at what it's trying to do. Uh, Anna Taylor Joy is in it and she's great and it's just a, an entertaining movie. Uh, next, I've got No Escape. This is a very good thriller from 2015. I like the casting of Owen Wilson doing this intense thriller and I think he carries this movie very well. It's also got some really intense moments and uh, yeah, it's not amazing. It's not going to change your life, but I like this one. Okay, next. So I got the next two for my boss day and I haven't actually played this game. I just finished playing the PS4 Spider-Man game. Uh, that review will be coming out next year and I've already pre-ordered the sequel, so before I play that, I'm going to play this in the upcoming weeks. So, um, I love Miles Morales, clearly, so I hope I love this game. And speaking of game, I just played the Resident Evil games, and I'm just on a whole video game high right now. So, I also can't wait to play this. I know it's supposed to be creepy and intense, and I've heard amazing things, so... Yes, um, review for this will come out next year, but I can't wait. Okay, if you want to talk about one of the most underrated comedies of the 90s, Multiplicity is fantastic. It's got this great sci-fi premise of this dude who clones himself, but there's also a very honest look at the difficulties of this guy and Michael Keaton is great. It's really funny. She touched my pepper. If you've seen the movie, you know, and it's heartfelt and yeah, I, this is a movie I've loved since I was a kid and I'm kind of shocked it's not widely talked about. Um, honestly, um, like top two Michael Keaton movie. No, top three. Just behind Beetlejuice and Batman Returns. Love it. 
And then I also got this one, um, Lord of the Rings on Blu-ray. I have nothing new or original to say about these movies. I might do a review series before the animated movie next year, but um, Fellowship of the Ring and Return of the King, I think, are just perfect movies. I do really like The Two Towers. It's a little slow for me every now and again, but I haven't seen it in years, so maybe my opinion changed. I, I, I hope I love it on this next rewatch. But amazing trilogy, one of the best ever. See, I'm not always a contrarian. Uh, so I got this movie called The Course, but that's its Canadian title. It's actually called Nucebo. And it's from the director of Vivarium a few years ago, and I just watched this one. It's fine. It's not going to change your life, but it's a fine movie. It's well-paced. It builds some nice dread. Uh, you've got yourself some great performances, and I do really like the ending. So, um, yeah, uh, I think there's a review coming in a few weeks for that one. Okay, this movie, I was going to buy it on Blu-ray, but I found it at Walmart on DVD for Cheapo, so I settled. A uh, Freaky. This was one of those movies I saw in fall 2020, and I like this movie. I think it's really fun. Uh, Vince Vaughn is really funny. It's surprisingly brutal in moments. Um, I, I don't know if it ever gets to greatness. Like, it's just good fun, but yeah. I, I enjoy it. Uh, then we've got one of my favorite movies from last year, and it's Deadstream. This movie is so good. Um, it manages to be funny while also being legitimately scary. I love the atmosphere on this movie and the location, and it, it's just a really good horror movie that... Um, legitimately scared me a few times and I, the ending is crazy in the best of ways so yeah uh, one of my favorite movies of this year that nobody is talking about is landscape with invisible hand and while watching it it reminded me of one movie i haven't seen in forever and i used to really like this movie but i need to check it out again it's called hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy um, weirdly enough, it's directed by Garth Jennings, who directed the Illumination movies, uh, Sing and Sing 2. So, I haven't seen this movie in like 10, 15 years, but I used to um, really like it. So, I hope that's still the case. I still remember So Long and Thanks for All the Fish. Yeah, so, yes. Um, one of my favorite movies from this year, and it's only available on DVD in Canada, which sucks, but it's Cobweb. This movie is awesome. Uh, the more I sit with it, the more I like it. You never know what's going to happen next. It keeps you on edge. You've got great performances, especially from Anthony Starr and Lizzie Kaplan here. And it's just a really fun, atmospheric... It, it's got the Halloween vibes you'd want from a movie like this, and... Um, yeah, I, I, I really liked it. The less you know, the better it is. Even when I did my review for this movie, I actually didn't even put the poster in my video because I think it gives a bit too much away. But yeah, um, it might be in my top 10 of the year by the end. I love it. Okay, the, the next one I... Look, don't judge me, but I got Slenderman. It was at Walmart for five bucks. And this movie, I do not hate. It's a terrible piece of shit, but it cracks me up. There was a scene when she's kissing this, the main character is kissing this dude on a couch. And you, it cuts to his face, and he's just like, mm, and it's the funniest thing ever. Honestly, terrific comedy. Um, I don't give movies bad reviews if they're so bad they're good, because I still get enjoyment from them. So, like, yeah. Make of that as you will. Uh, then I got this one. By the way, this clearly bunch of horror movies at my local Walmart. Uh, this was a werewolf movie from a couple years ago that I heard is very atmospheric and very good. It was pretty cheap, so I, uh, I'm i going to give it a chance. There's not really many good werewolf movies, like Prisoner of Azkaban, An American Werewolf in London. What else, really? 
I don't like Silver Bullet. I don't like The Howling. It's very limited, so I hope this is one of the good Real Wolf movies. Okay, down to the last two. Odd. This movie could have been an amazing movie. Like, the premise is so good. And that's not this movie, but the movie we get is so unintentionally hilarious. And I get all the enjoyment from this one as I get from The Happening. It's um, a mess, but man, it's, it's entertaining. So, yeah, I liked it. Didn't love it, though. That is a cool poster, though. Yeah. And the last movie I got this month is, and I just picked this up, and it's one of the most underrated movies of this year, and it's Insidious the Red Door. Now look, the first Insidious movie is in my top 10 ever. I love it. I think it's terrifying. And I think the second one is fantastic, and I love the third one. This movie isn't as good as those ones, but I actually feel like it was a very thoughtful exploration of, like, the importance of remembering your past. And it has a few fun spooky set pieces. It's not terrifying, it's, um, yeah. And, uh, okay, look, my biggest issue is the ending is rushed. Like, um, yeah, I'll give it away. Spoiler warning, it's the end of the video. Uh, but basically, like, the red lipstick face demon finally gets Darton's body just to give it up like that. And then the dad saves Darton, shows up like that, saves Darton like that. And then the movie ends like that. And I'm like, what happened to the last act? And if you watch the trailer, it's very clearly they took th some stuff out. So it kind of ends on a very messy note. But I thought up until then... It was entertaining, it had enough spooky moments, the performances are good, I think it's well directed, I like some of the visuals, especially the look of the painting, and you've got yourself this great kick-ass cover of Ghost in the end credits, so I enjoyed it, I think it's overhated, I think people are just too easy to hate on any movie with jump scales, I think The Nun 2 is fantastic, and I'm kind of shocked to see how many people hate it, and I feel like so many make up their mind about it ahead of time. And if you don't like it, whatever, it's all subjective. But um, I'm always surprised at how much hate these movies get. But those are the movies I bought this month. Um, which ones of those have you seen? What are your thoughts on them? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos soon. And Gavin, out.